prosperity bound to all who's listening and watching it's your girl shay miller right and i'm back with another video and today we're going to talk about the um shortcomings that come with being somebody who's an overachiever and somebody who's really hard on themselves so me being both of those things um i can only tell you from my own experience and how it's affected me as a person and how it's affected the other overachievers and people like me. Um, so, being an overachiever, it's like you put yourself at a higher um, stamp or a higher esteem. You expect yourself to perform the very best. I'm not talking about perfection. I'm talking about fully re responsible, um, very obligated, willing to take the risk and do whatever it's going to take in order to achieve it. But does it... I'm not going to say everybody does it in the right way. Me specifically, this individual does it the right way. I, um, I don't really like to make a lot of mistakes. And I'm not saying that's because I'm a perfectionist. Because that's, a, that's somebody who wants to be perfect no matter what. I'm not those kind of people. I believe in improvement, not perfection, right? So, and I believe if we were perfect, there would be no need for growth. And we wouldn't be here anymore. Because there would be nothing to learn. Um, but I feel like, um, as an overachiever, uh, it's affecting me in a lot of ways because I can accomplish, like, five pages worth of goals, like, things that, um, may take a month or take a lot of money or may take a lot of my energy, take a lot of my time, uh, and they align with my vision, they align with what I want. And even after I accomplish it, it's like that the the flesh self says that's not good enough. Like that's that's not good enough. You you done it, but you didn't get us what we expect, and it, or you didn't get us like the satisfaction, like the worth that financial package that come with all that we worked hard for, right? Um. So it can be really hard being somebody who's very overachieving. Um, who I accomplish a lot of things, and I have a lot that I can be proud of, and I am proud of myself, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a part of me, and I guess that's the double complex of human nature. Um, one part of, I'm proud of myself and everything I've accomplished because I accomplish a lot of stuff. And people always say to me, Shay, um, there's a lot of people who hasn't accomplished half the things you accomplished. And then I just look at them like, that's nothing. Like, it, it's like, for me, that's nothing because it's not... It's not all I want to accomplish. It's not everything. Like, the stuff I accomplish now is nothing compared to what I want to accomplish, you know. So, it's kind of like, it's never enough for an overachiever. It, you're, it's never, you're never satisfied with what you've done. Um, and you're always striving for more or <laughs> striving to do more. And it can be very exhausting. And it can be very hard on your inner self. Um, because your inner self um knows that it's content it's complete it's whole and that you have done well right you've done well for the season of your life you are where you need to be um you should be content with what you've done and then everything will fall into line even if you don't see it and that's the horrible part about the outer complex of self um the the complex of self Sometimes put us in a dilemma of where even if you know those things internally, externally, that would never be good enough. And you always be in this state of, like, doubt, depression, uncertainty. Um, you'll probably sob at night. <laughs> uh, you probably stay up long nights thinking about it. Uh, it may be something, a reoccurring thought, um, especially if it's something that you really want to achieve. Because I have a lot of... I have some things that be on my mind that keeps me up till 12 o'clock at night. Like, seriously. Um, also, being hard on myself, um, I'm, I wouldn't, I'm, I think I wouldn't do this if I had kids, um, being real strict. Me personally, I'm very hard on myself. Um, I do have a really fun energy, but um, it's, it's very um, tame by my masculine energy and um, I can be very strong-minded, I can be very, um, 
hard when things don't necessarily go the way I expect or how I plan them and doesn't meet my expectations. And I know life has its process and I have to come to, to thinking and making peace with that. But sometimes that is not enough for me, right? Because the overachieving part requires me to achieve more. And it says, like, you haven't achieved enough. And then me being hard on myself, the other complex of that is I'm really hard on myself. Uh, the the um, critical thinking that comes from it is, like, you know you should have did this, you could have did better, um, da, 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 like, all this stuff, right? And it's just, like, I don't know, I just, I have really long nights from it sometimes. Sometimes I'd be really restless and really tired. And then I, I go to my job, like, my job, and I'm, like, really sad every day. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, I get it. A job uh, helps you get to point A to point B. And I'm not, I'm a very passionate person. Uh, if it's not something I'm passionate about, it's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna last doing it. I mean, I can set it out for a while, I can, um, do it, but inside me being very passionate, I can really hate something to a point where it hurts me, right? So, the purpose of this video was to shed light on people who are overachievers, but also people who are hard on themselves, and the difficulty that comes with that. It's very hard. Um, I wouldn't say it's no way to come out of it um, because I have learned ways to be better at the way I speak about myself, the way I think about myself, the way I see myself, um, um, and, <laughs> and then learning and teaching myself to be more proud of what I've done um, and not being so focused on ahead and then focusing more on the present. So it's a lot of things that you, uh, people like me can do in order to stop that behavior. Because it's a behavior. Um, I believe that some things are easier said than done because if some people, if you're like me, you've been doing it for years, it does take time and it's not something that you can do overnight. Um, but yeah, this is what this video is about, the overachievers, people who accomplish, um, want to accomplish all their dreams. Um, you know, I have been one, focusing on my financial goals and I haven't reached my financial goals and I'm kind of impatient in that area and I, I can be piss poor sometimes at this specific aspect of my life because it's not, I'm not getting where I want to be, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it kind of pisses me off, so I'm going to be honest about it. Um, at some point in life, um, we don't just accept things. <laughs> we got to do things about it. And it's some things I come to peace with, but uh, I know things take time, and I'm just going to have to give myself that time. Love you guys, and I'm out.